Hello, everybody, and welcome to DC Time. I'm Dean. I'm Chris. And we are so glad you joined us this week. Uh, we just changed our name. If you didn't see last week's show, we've, we've made a show. And so now you're with Dean and Chris. This is Dean and Chris time. And we're just here to share with you uh, the great good news of this happy God that Chris and I have we continue to learn about and continue just to get glimpses of um, just how great of a father he is to all his creation. Yep. And so we learn about, you know, him through, mainly through Paul and uh, through Paul's evangel. And, and of course, Paul, uh, the apostle Paul learned from the resurrected Christ. Uh, that's according to scripture. And that's what Chris and I believe. And so, um, yeah, we, do, we just want to share those things more and more. We kind of went away from our name a little mm -hmm. bit. We, we talked about it last week. There's a lot of different reasons, but we both were uh, maybe over the last few months was wanting to make a change Yeah. because it was just a little <clears throat> funny. It wasn't really fitting. Like I said, the uh, destructive rage uh, within our, the title there. Yeah. And that, that wasn't the reason for, for picking Mortal Fury, but then, you know, we couldn't get away from that. We right. couldn't get away from some of those battles that uh, we thought we were involved in to, yeah, I to think... battle and defend and do things you know to where we started maybe doing that um you know against others mm -hmm. and, and there's there's certainly no um that, that was never our heart or intent to do that. no and we talked about our the progressive nature of what we are learning and uh, through Paul's revelations and then our realizations mm -hmm. and where that was taking us. And more and more, it was in a message of the peace of God and the love of God and the power of God. Uh, and those were becoming a pinnacle in what we were wanting to share. And it just didn't fit with Mortal Fury, the name Mortal Fury, mm -hmm. because it, that's not at all uh, what, where we were at. So it seemed like a good time. And then again, we, we chose very generic so that we won't be doing this again, uh, changing our name. We decided oh, let's yeah. just make it a real, you know, it's just Dean and Chris <laughs> right. time. Uh, right. I remember we used to joke at work with each other. Like if I'm over here talking to you and then one of our buddies yeah. walked up and if we go, wait a minute, this is my Dean time. I'm talking yeah. to Dean. And we used to yeah. do that right. jokingly, you know, right. um, uh, but that's kind of what we're, we set aside this time mm -hmm. uh, when it works for both of us. And it's great for he and I to get together and share what has transpired over the week and what we're reading. And, uh, and then again, obviously, uh, to make time to sit down with our audience and uh, mm -hmm. share with them uh, what we're learning and how Paul's words are resonating with us. So that's what this is all about. Right, and, and then we get together, like you said, to uh, it helps each of us yeah. individually. And we want to focus on peace and grace and the love of God because mm -hmm. we you know, need that just like everybody else, like yeah. the whole world needs that. Mm -hmm. We need that because um, obviously the world and the systems we live in here, there's a lot of uh, hurt and suffering and confusion, and, yeah. um, and that's what we're subjected to. And there's purpose in that. There's a reason for that, we, we believe, uh, that it's only temporary. And so, mm. yeah, God's created all these things, but it's just for the temporary. He's involved in all of it. Right. It's Romans 11, 36. Um, we completely believe in the sovereignty of God uh, to the point that he's created all these things. And yeah, he's not, right. he's not the creator that's just somehow his creation slipped away from him, got away from him, it's got out of hand, and right. they need to turn back. He knows what he's doing. Right. Um, and that's what we want to focus on because it does get so confusing. You know, the hurt and the suffering that we, we go through, mm -hmm. you know, as individuals, as humans here along our journey. Yeah. And so we want to learn more about the peace of God ourselves. So Yeah. And, and this, this weekend, or excuse me, two weeks ago, I was just sharing with Dean that a uh, member of my family, we, we got into a discussion about a subject that I am passionate about and um, it did not go well. And, and it became uh, terse and, and uh, just fraught with 
with anger and and it really bugged me for several hours and then I wanted to know why it was so important and I think a lot of it was the flesh the flesh wanted to be right mm -hmm. and rather I mean I just let the flesh take its lead and um, I was for several hours I was very angry and when I look at it that's the only thing I can point to is I wanted to be right and show the other person that they were wrong. And the more I thought about it, the more I thought that that's not who I should be. It's not how I should respond in those situations. And I told Dean right now, I'm just wanting to find myself dependent upon God in every circumstance, what, whatever it is, whether it's a good thing or a thing that causes me trouble I want to be completely dependent on him and I was definitely defend, depending on flesh in those situations and it was frustrating um, I looked up um, first Corinthians today uh, Hi, Dean. <laughs> it's me. Right. and I was just letting you know you're, you're on the show oh wonderful Wow, you wow. did really good. All right. We're, we're at the table of truth. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Bye. 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 I didn't know how to stop it. That's okay. Is this new? Oh, no, new case. Oh, new case. Okay. Yeah, I mean, lots of times when I uh, get up in the morning, I go walk at the university, and uh, I was looking through scriptures on my phone that I appreciate and like, and I ran into 1 Corinthians, second chapter, verses one through five. And uh, Dean's gonna read that, and then, then I'm gonna go to A. Enoch's commentary, which is uh, really good uh, about this. Uh, pay close attention to verse five. That's the one that really sticks out to me. All right, 1 Corinthians 2. 1 through 5. And I, coming to you, brethren, came not with superiority of word or of wisdom, announcing to you the testimony of God. For I decide not to perceive anything among you, among you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. And I came to be with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And my word and my heralding were not with the persuasive words of human wisdom, but with demonstration of spirit and of power that your faith may not be in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Yeah, yeah that's really good. Um, that, uh, the fifth verse, that your faith may not be in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. That really stuck out to me. Um, Knox commentary, uh, as, as is always the case, uh, is so good about this. Eloquent appeals logical arguments or profound philosophy have no place in the proclamation of the evangel. We are to pro proclaim the word, testify to the truth, the subject matter all provided by God. Nothing would have appealed to the Corinthians better than some new philosophy or some astute line of reasoning, but faith does not rest on reason, but on a message backed by the power of the Spirit of God. What is needed today is a return to the simple, unadorned proclamation of the Evangel, the death of Christ on the cross for our sins and the resurrection of Christ because of our justification. The power of this good news is as great today as it proved to be in Corinth. This is a the message is to me so powerful because it's just Christ crucified, resurrected. We don't need to expand beyond that. Mm -mm. That's it. We know that that's it. And, uh, you know, he talks about he doesn't come with persuasive words or superiority of words. Um, he just speaks of Christ crucified. Yeah, it's about the faith of Christ that yeah, we pointed exactly. out. We focus on that. It's, it's, uh, it's what He accomplished. Right. 
It's what God had planned for him, for his son, and for his creation. And it's about that faith. Um, and so much of the time our focus gets into, you know, the human's the ability. The faith of wisdom, men's, yeah. wins, men's wisdom. Right. Um, you start having faith in, in yourself. or right. And if you don't have faith in the particular right thing, well, mm-hmm. you're doomed. Things like that. You can easily yeah. get off track. We all have different things. And, of course, we do have faith. Um, and we can, we can yeah. talk about personal faith. Yeah. That's, but, a, that's but another... This is about... This work is about Jesus Christ. It's about His faith. Yeah. And mm-hmm. that was another passage I kept returning to this past week was Romans uh, twelve three, where we, we receive a, mass, a measure of faith mm-hmm. to believe. Mm-hmm. And that is just one, two, and three is really powerful in Romans uh, chapter twelve. It, that's really good too, and it's about the same. T- it's about the same thing. Everything is of God. All of this is. This is why we can rest. This is why we, you know, it's never about us. It's never boasting on ourselves. Um, it is all of God, and He's. Um, performing it, doing it, uh, his, he's planning it. Uh, I think one of the message I, messages I listened to recently of Clyde was how we start from the position of the creator and the creator's capability and that there is nothing left to chance. Mm-hmm. And we, when we can be dependent upon that in every circumstance, I don't know a better place we could be. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was what I was wanting to share today was this that's my thought is a dependency on God all the time I don't always pull it off I don't always find myself there like I was just mentioning I got very frustrated right, with, right. with a family mm-hmm. member and it wasn't <clears throat> until some hours later that, that I was able to really recognize that that flesh had taken hold, that flesh had been leading in those moments, you know, and I, I don't want that to be the case. So, and maturity. We talked about maturity. This is probably one of the things that we are in pursuit of as members of the body of Christ. We know that you're not right. born mature. Maturity right. is a process. Um, and this is something we um, desire to attain. We've got some catching up to do. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. If you, you could know. see some of the things we do and say off camera, you would re- you'd really think it's funny for us to talk about maturity. <laughs> we might have to look that word up, get that definition up, make sure we're right there. On yeah, that. we're using that properly. Exactly. Um, uh, well, no, that's that's powerful stuff. Yeah, it is. It, it's great Agreed. stuff. Um, might continue on that next week because yep. just stay. That's some really powerful section. Yeah, we'll really we'll never run out of information. No. That's the great thing. You can return yeah, to good. scripture, the same scripture you looked at a year ago, and it's oh, something some, new. Yeah, so much there to you. Right. So it's so it's always great to read anything I read in Paul. I, I so enjoy. So, hey, we had a great week. We hope you had a great week. Uh, love the comments about the name change. So yeah. appreciate yeah, all of that. that. That was encouraging, and Mm -hmm. uh, we'll see you again real soon, probably next week. Yep, love you all. See you next time. Take care. Bye.